What's up everybody, this is Mickey, and this is my new to me BMW F31 Touring Wagon. And we're gonna transform it from this to this. So stay tuned, because we're about to lay out all the parts right now and show you guys a glimpse inside what's gonna happen in this one video episode of the complete transformation of my wagon. To get started, I went ahead and chose this 3D design rear wing spoiler. And what I really like about it is it utilizes the factory wing and it essentially just creates a duck tail. And we move on to the wheel and tire package that I chose. Now mind you, like I said, I'm gonna be driving this car every day back and forth to work. I'm gonna take it on trips. So I wanted to go with a tire that could kind of do all things well. That's why we went with the, the Zenus FK510. I paired it to an 18 by nine and a half Rotiform RSE. Moving on, I love my interiors. We're gonna run the Bimmer Tech MMI Prime, which is gonna allow us to have wire wireless CarPlay and also utilize the whole screen on the dash. And we're gonna pair that to the Bav Sound full audio system. Now this is like the Cadillac of basically bolt-in audio systems for the BMWs. So Keith sent us over these BMW authentic grills, which is pretty cool. What we don't have present here today is the BMW M Performance rear bumper. But what we do have is the uh, carbon fiber rear diffuser for the M Performance bumper. We're gonna end up painting some of this Alpine white to match the bumper. We're gonna leave the carbon diffuser carbon, but uh, I think that's gonna look pretty nice on the back end. Getting on with the rear bumper, we also have these Keys Motorsports rear spats. These go underneath the rear bumper and just provide a little bit bit of uh, aesthetic look, a little bit of aero appeal. Anytime I can add carbon to my builds, I like to. Just can't wait to put all the stuff on the rear bumper. We also have the M Performance side skirt. They're a little more aggressive than the factory side skirt. And then we have the uh, also the Keys Performance unders for those as well. So those will match up to the bumper ones. And then on the front bumper, we went with an M3 style front bumper. It looks like an M3 bumper, but it's the narrow width of an F30 or F31. We did add the Keys Motorsports carbon fiber lip and also these guides down here are in carbon fiber as well. Those just slip over on the bumper. Now all of these parts that are gray and black will get painted alpine white. And to make a good daily driving car, I want to address the brakes. So as you can see here, we've got some really bright brake calipers. You know me, I love my floor yellow. So I had Ricky shoot these in floor yellow for us. We had some throttle logos. You guys with a keen eye will probably recognize these as the uh, BMW Brembo upgrade package. Uh, these were just silver from the factory. I'm excited about this. Uh, we went ahead and paired all of these calipers with StopTech rotor upgrade, front and rear, EBC pads, stainless lines all the way around. So this thing should stop like a dream and no mushy pedal. So I'm excited about that little brake upgrade for the daily, can never go wrong. We've got a Magnaflow Catback exhaust system. I think it's a good addition to the uh, carbon fiber rear diffuser as well as the under tray uh, bits that we got. Moving on. To the front, we have an F30, F31 front fender that actually has the M3 style grill. I went with the gloss black trim, and these will go in there after these are painted white, and we'll probably do some cool little detail in here. It's supposed to say M3, and they're like an actual M3, but we're not trying to fake the funk. We're not putting the fake M's on here because this is not an M3. We'll do something cool there and uh, trim it out ourselves the way we want to. We went ahead and sourced a carbon fiber strut tower bar from Keys as well. These are available on their site currently. I think this is a really sharp look. We are gonna be running KW V3s on this build, which these are the same colors we put on my fiance Courtney's F30, and she absolutely loves it. She runs it super low, it rides great. I wanted that same feel on this car. So we went ahead with the same ones there. I reached out to Bimmer Tech. They sent off this amazing MMI Prime, which updates the driver interface inside the car. My Prime allows you to utilize the whole screen instead of just two-thirds of it and it also allows you to run Apple CarPlay and Android uh, devices in the car without having to plug in which is pretty cool. Taking it one step further we did select the full digital upgrade from Bimmer Tech for the uh, car. It's actually a really cool upgrade and it's gonna make everything on the dash digital. No more little sweeps on the uh, the meter gauges and stuff like that. It'll all just be on like a computer screen, which is pretty neat. Body mods, we've got a hood as well. A very cool vented hood. And we did get this in aluminum to try to bring down some of the weight on the front of the car. We will do, be doing an oil change on the car. We'll be using the 300V from Motul. This is also available on throttle. We also have an Optima battery for the car. Again, this is not the appropriate battery for this particular chassis, those of you with a keen eye, but we will be tossing an Optima battery in here as well. Well, that's all I got for you now. There ain't nothing to it but to do it. I'm gonna grab Ricky, I'm gonna grab Quinn, and I'm gonna grab Will, and we're gonna bang this thing out.
Ricky and Quinn are knocking out the brakes and suspension. I'm just doing the light work. Pulled off the back badges. And we're gonna go ahead and use our Eastwood trim remover tool, I guess. Oh, it's like a rotary tool. It takes off all this glue and stuff. I just think it'll look a lot cleaner without it. So took them off. It was Quinn's idea to actually remove these because he thought it would be a cleaner look and I totally agree. Uh, it looks a lot better now. There it is. So that is one of our bolts that's holding the lower strut in place. So this spindle actually kind of like sandwich bear hugs uh, the shock body and then that bolt goes through and tightens everything down. So I got that off. We need to get this guy loose, get our three bolts up top, which we need to pop the hood for. And then this shock will be out, then we can put our new KW coilover. She purdy. It is a nice looking coiler. I love this coating. That and the colors. Because they don't rust. Really nice. Yeah, the purple that's one, and That's one thing I've liked about KW. It's like the Lakers colors, dude. The Lakers have the KW colors, dude. Oh, yeah, you're right. If you followed our channel for a while now, you know that we're big fans of Manscaped and their Lawnmower 4.0. Oh, oh, Manscaped, in addition to providing the proper tools for safe and easy manscaping, have partnered with the Testicular Cancer Society to spread awareness for men's health and early cancer detection. You can perform simple, routine self-checks at home while using Manscaped products that you use every day, like the Crop Mop Ball Wipes and the Skin Safe Lawnmower 4.0 Body Trimmer. And as always, you can use code THROTTLE to save 20% off a purchase plus free shipping at manscaped.com. So what are you waiting for? Join the Manscape movement and take care of your pair. Just got done putting the rotor on. Next step is gonna be putting the caliper on and then after that we'll put the studs in and then we'll go to the other side. Wow, those are bright. We're still hard work for it. That's your color, dude. I know, I love this color. As long as Ricky copied it. I actually took my time to do this one. This is, whose sweater is this, uh, Quint? Huh? Yeah. No, nothing. Oh, I mean, it's your car, I guess. Oh, oh. <laughs> You're gonna get fired. He won't know. You guys won't tell him. All right, well, since we're doing all this work on all four corners, we're gonna go ahead and introduce the Motorsports Hardware Studded Kit. This is their, uh, it's kind of like their premium setups. This is the M14 1.5 BMW setup. Looks like a black black chrome lug nut, open-ended, which is really cool. They call for a th uh, blue Loctite. I like to use the red, it's a little heavier duty. Uh, I really don't want these coming out, so once we put these in, full send. Springs are on. Mick's working on getting our shocks together. Put those in. And then, and then we can put this car on the ground and adjust the right hand. Dude, we didn't hear a word you just yeah, said. Yeah. Ricky's gardening. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> we got our springs set in the back. Beautiful yellow KWs. So Mickey's actually transferring the top hats onto our new shocks now, and then we're gonna throw those in the car, and then we're gonna put the car on the ground and start adjusting the right hat. It's gonna be sick. So we are almost to the point of putting this thing on the ground. Ready to put this thing on the ground? Hi <laughs> <laughs> All right, 
right, so as you can see, we got all four breaks done. Mickey finished putting all the studs and lug nuts on, and it is time for me to start bleeding the brakes. Quinn, you're bleeding brakes. Coilovers are on. Ricky's talking loud. Coilovers are on, brakes are fully bled. And we're gonna put our rotor forms on and put the car on the ground, see how it looks. See if we need to adjust the height at all. We went ahead and sourced a Weechers Sport carbon fiber strut tower bar. What we're gonna do is actually, I took the hardware out and we're gonna install just the, the end plates first, loosely. Make sure everything fits good. What do you think, Quinn? Do you like that or not? Yeah, yeah. See? I think that's nice. And this build is going so well that we cannot stop right now. So I am gonna get started on the sound system. So we have a bunch of stuff from Bath Sound. And Bath Sound is a company that is for BMWs that actually replaces every single speaker in this car. And we are gonna replace it for something way better than stock. So it's literally plug and play, literally. You literally unbolt all, each one of the speakers out. You bolt this one in. It is the same exact sizes in the same location, but way, way better quality. They provided a toolkit for this installation. This is amazing. I've never seen this before. This is super cool. You have your poppers, extension. You have a socket drive. You have a 10 mil ratchet. You have your torch uh, bits, all the other bits over here. That's pretty cool. I think I cannot wait to see what this thing is gonna sound like. So let's get moving. I just wrapped up the amp. So you just kind of take the old amp off, disconnect some wires first. They give you a new bracket to adapt this new amplifier to that bracket. They give you a tuning module card that is specific to this chassis. So that way they can sell the same amp and just give a new tuning card. You plug that in. It was all plug and play. Perfect, easy to do. Ran right over to the battery as far as power. And she's powered up. It's time to test her. Will, you ready? I'm ready. Let's hear it. Sorry. Highs already sound really good. Damn! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir! Oh this my god, bro. This calls for a sideways hat. It's just so side. hard to relay this through the camera, yeah. but it sounds so much better. And I'm talking about 300% better. I'm not talking about 50%. I'm talking about a lot better. Oh yeah, dude. Shout out to Bath Sound. You guys did an amazing job. 600 watt system. What was that? Three, six, seven speaker replacement plus the two subs. Insane. Completely worth it. Done with the sound system. Let's move on to the next thing. Next up, we have a performance exhaust system. This is a Touring Series exhaust by Magnaflow. It's a cat back. It looks beautiful, and uh, we're gonna slam it on. It's gonna make a lot better noises than the stock unit is. So we do need to drop the entire exhaust system off. For some reason, they made it from the muffler tips all the way to the downpipe, which has a catalytic converter on it. It's one. <laughs> pipe. To install this cat back, we're actually gonna have to lop it off right here on the welds. And then this pipe section will stay in and then our new cat back will slide on top of that. So we need to get all these under bracings off, drop this exhaust system off, lop it right there, and then we can start putting our beautiful Magnaflow stuff on. So let's get started. We are gonna cut the stock exhaust so we can adapt the Magnaflow exhaust over it. Easy peasy. Ricky's bringing the car down after he and Quinn tossed the exhaust system on. We're about to hear it for the first time. This is an exciting moment. 
very deep sound. You can actually hear it run now. You couldn't even hear it before. You'd start it, it sound like an EV car. A lot of the newer four cylinders, the really bringing the tone, the tone the down. was like that too, huh? Yeah. Uh, it's lit, but it is Oh yeah. Oh, valve just opened up. I like it because it's not super loud. Like I have to drive this in and out of my neighborhood and it's perfect. It's like yeah. What a turbo noise you can hear. Yeah. You can hear that at so all. So cool. Honestly, like this is exact. I was really worried it was gonna be too loud. And when I come home from my late night hockey games at one o'clock in the morning, I really didn't want to be rumbling the neighborhood up. It's actually perfect. Just loud enough that you know something's been done, but it's not overly loud that it's like, e that might've been too much. Wow, I'm super pumped. Thanks, Magnaflow. All right, well, I'm doing a million other things around here. Will is managing the gauge cluster install from Bimmer Tech. As you guys saw, Ricky tossed this in for us. It looks pretty epic, but dark right now. Yeah, I think in a minute we'll figure out how it goes, but we're on a team viewer call with Bimmer Tech, and this is something that they require. When you install the cluster, you have to get online with them and they program it or code it, I guess is the, the right word. So Will is in the process of doing that now. We're all done. So he, like I said, they take extra steps. They gave me a VPN. He just left the VPN. He messaged me, unplug everything, the coding is done. So I'm gonna go make sure that the firewalls are back on. Although I think I saw him do that and we're good to go. All right, so after the gauge cluster, we're gonna move on to body parts. Now we dropped all these parts off uh, last week at Torrey Pines Collision up the street from us and had them painted. We've got our M2 style hood here. This is full aluminum, pretty cool stuff. Uh, it does have a vent that goes there. We'll pop in after. We've got our BMW F31. M Sports Packet Rear Bumper. We've got our Keys Motorsports Rear Diffuser. Sheesh. We've got the white painted reflectors that are gonna go in here. We've got our M Performance Side Skirts, our M3 style front fenders in, in alloy as well. And we've got our front bumper, which we had a little bit of issue with the front bumper. It needed to be resprayed. So we're not gonna have that until uh, tomorrow. But we also got our Depot headlights, courtesy of Keys Motorsports as well. And these are gonna be a full LED conversion. We're gonna get on to making it look cool now. Now that the rear bumper's on, we can toss on our Keys Motorsports rear diffusers. Just gotta pull off this 3M tape and we put the factory BMW fasteners back through here and done deal. While the boys are working on the rear end, I'm gonna get started on the front. We need to take the old bumper off, the headlights out. We can start throwing our new headlights in, replacing the fenders and jamming on the front end. So we got a lot of fun stuff going on in this car. I'm very excited. Ricky crushed it with Will getting the new M3 style front fenders on from Kia's. Required a little bit of adjusting to get the gaps right, but I think we're pretty good right now. We don't have the aftermarket hood on yet, so we're not really focusing on the hood gap just yet. We're basically just focusing on the door gap and the gap to the uh, side skirt. And we got our grills that we're gonna pop in. These did say M3 on them, and I wasn't having that because this isn't an M3, so I just put some fluoro vinyl over this just because I don't want to fake the funk. Until I come up with a better solution, that's what we're gonna do. and toss the Keys Motorsports parts on the bottom of the M Performance side skirts. This might make it a little difficult to put the M Performance stripe on, but wanted to get it on here anyway while we have the car in the air.
M2 style hoods on, M3 style fenders are on, BMW Performance side skirts are on, the rear M Performance bumper is on with the Keys Motorsports rear lower carbon pieces and rear carbon diffuser that we painted a little bit of. So far, I'm really liking the way it's turning out. We did the headlights that are manufactured by Depot, which adds the nice uh, daytime running light, the, the um, halo lights around the LED driving lights and uh, high beams, which is a huge upgrade for this car. Keys carbon antenna cover, beautiful cover. And I've got some sequential LED turn signals that we're gonna put on and they are smoked. So instead of standing out like a sore thumb, they're a dull smoked color like the fog lights that we put in. Sort of just dumbed down some of the brightness of the car. Uh, I think it's gonna be a good look. So we're gonna toss those on. dash kit this is a complete kit from bmw i've enlisted will he's gonna help me out with this he's got a little steady hand and he's very good with detail stuff so he and i are going to tackle knocking these out we've got one more piece that i should probably show you guys because it's probably the, the coolest part of this car bmw m performance steering wheel now this one's really cool because it actually has a display up here a race display which is going to display the gearing i believe and also rpms on here and it also house our paddle shifters. I did have to pick up an airbag because my car did not have this style wheel. So I picked this up from Straight Six Auto Parts. And then this also came uh, with the wheel. This is carbon and it matches the remainder of the interior, which is pretty cool. There ain't nothing to it but to do it. These are my favorite mods. I love interior mods, especially when they're OEM and uh, they are, include Alcantara and carbon fiber, my two favorite materials. So this is the perfect interior for me. So we're gonna toss it in. Pulls and I think that's it. And then the steering wheel. We're ready with the steering wheel. Ricky went ahead and put this all together. It looks beautiful. Huge shout out to Straight Six Auto Parts. We were able to buy the buttons, the paddle shift mechanisms themselves, as well as the back cover from them so we can complete this steering wheel. And then we have our Keys carbon paddle shifters on here now. These are in dry carbon. Really cool look paired with the M Performance center uh, garnish, which is really nice. Alright, well that's a wrap on the F31 Touring Wagon that I'm going to be daily driving. 
I think it went through quite the transformation. As you guys can see here, this is the finished product. There are one or two little bits that still need to be put on the car that didn't arrive in time for this video. If you guys follow my Instagram or the Throttle Instagram, you guys will see final pictures of this there. Huge shout out to Keys Motorsports. You guys heard me mention them many times in this video. Bav Sound Audio. As you guys know, Ricky installed the Bav Sound in this and it sounds absolutely epic. I've been driving this car for the past week and it is unbelievable. The music that comes out of this car, it makes it the ultimate uh, daily driver for me. We also added all the Bimmer Tech parts, the Apple CarPlay, MMI Prime module, as well as their 6WB digital gauge cluster, which really transforms the interior of the car and the driving experience. So shout out to Bimmer Tech for that. We also have Rotoform and Falcon as our choice of rollers here on the car. We've got 18 by nine and a half. Uh, wheels front and back on Falcon FK510s and they are what is proving to be a really good option for the day-to-day -day car that this has become for me. A huge shout out to KW Suspension. Their KW V3s make this thing an absolute pleasure to drive every day. And last but not least, I like to give a shout out to Straight Six Auto Parts in Oceanside, California. They came through big time with some of the little bits and pieces that we were missing to get this car put together and luckily they're in our neck of the woods so we were able to stop there and pick up those parts at a really fair price. So go ahead and hit that like button, comment down below, hit that subscribe button. We're gonna be bringing you guys a lot more projects such as this one and some of our deeper dive builds as well. We'll see you guys in the next one.